Operators are standing by. In some of the stores, they sell a cheese rinse for disturbed or depressed hair. <laughs> you add whiskey to it at the last moment. Now that it's nearly Christmas, we could buy such things, you and I, and take them with us, though it seems like only yesterday I hit that Halloween home run. It backed up and kind of flowed back into my side, I think creating a strawberry jar effect. There was nothing Olin or I could do about it. Determining everyone as a big shot is sometimes all he is about. I've slept on the ground with him and deep in a birch bark canoe. Once there was two of him. At school, no one smiled, no one could tell us apart until he smiled or his big laugh came unbuttoned. Fatally, venery has taken its toll of him these last years. I can't get near him without being reminded of Venus or the hunt. I come in six different packages, from the jewel case to Wrigley's spearmint. In the time of friendly moose droppings, I followed them to the shed aquarium. No one was selling tickets that day. I wandered in and out of the fish tanks, stopping occasionally to leave a handprint on the plate glass for the benefit of some fish or other. <laughs> the confronters. Which of the incredible lies will prove true? Ah, you ask me things I wish I could not even ask myself. A fire burns in a fireplace. Cups are on a sill. A man is working. He moves along. There is so much to learn, so many teachers. A dog howls from a roof. Is it a wolf? Someone wants it to be. In short, there are these topics. In winter and in summer there were. The other seasons mediate and end up having more topics. Hives with no bees, you said which is how I remember them, through a blood-red transparent curtain that looked like rubber. The various inequalities are parceled out now. There are suburban subdivisions with no shards of land left on them. Impatient dawns arise, arrive. This one's called, My Name is Dimitri. I am going to be your host tonight. Do you wish the fiddle or the fish? The hen with ivory sauce is very fine, very light. An experience unlike any other pushes you toward what holy extremities? To a margin of uncertainty where not just drinks are muddled and an old frump of a past straddles you. Uncertainty polishes the china to a mirror-like daze. A World War I soldier wants to say thank you, fuck you, from all the trenches his heart is bleeding from, from the aghast question and the problem of novelty to the tip of sores that ends this peninsula back where it began, where the pilgrims trod. There is so much in Warsaw, too many restaurants, too few connections, that would otherwise make things interesting. We have nothing to cling to, only torn memories of a station between stations that wasn't the one that was supposed to be there. An altar of roses climbed halfway up the stadium, which was full of misfits with no store to come home to. Still, there was the bus, a place beyond all others, curdled in the neat sky. An insane child wishes the grass whipped less at the bends where the posts are. The merger of innocence matters, but on a small scale matters a great deal more than the hum of interim authority and the screech of descants that take you by surprise as they tide you over. Good night. The dashboard is heavy with imagery in entranced colors like the plumes of a canary or lyre bird. Keep the rats out of that granary and all will be well for a century 
but if the mailman leaves me no mail, it will be a vast appointed mistake, vast as a throne room in an old castle by the sea, as Thuringia. The moss grew for me, and there the matter rested, in salt pits and other geographical refuse. Besides, they were coming over the ridge, would save us, and then we'd see what we would see, despondent daughters of the Hellespont, fickle as creation, and the lives that extended down to this trough. The Latvian. Knowing John, it might have been. Then again, maybe you know him. Food on his dried up puss. Handsome for a day, a stunning figure. Why any of this bothers me, I'll never know. My place is down here with you pagans and sun worshipers all set for a rubber of bridge. To whom we turn when all else is exhausted as in fact it almost invariably is. Then smiles break out on rain stippled streets. Orange hats and flowers appear. It's enough to put the cow back in macabre. <laughs> and, and we weave together the lesson of today me holding the ball of yarn, you at your embroidery hoop. Relief comes on strong. It pits man against ghost, neighbor to neighbor, falling down as the fur flies. Who knew if the embassy had tickets or if they would even sell one? By that time, it was half past nine. Too late to dust the refrigerated air. Too early for the hockey scores. Yet if I infiltrate this page of music like a violinist inflating Mozart, the seams, the dear themes come true. We are all a falling in love. Let's leave it that way. This one is called, I Saw No Need. I saw no need to paint the sky, to cheer the runners passing by, to let the lovely forest bleed. I saw no need. I saw no need to argue writs with one who in a courtroom sits. I saw the folly princes breed, yet saw no need. I saw no need to cancel love. Heavens, what was I thinking of? I cannot read what others read. I see no need. I know the earth is out of whack. I pine for boys whose name is Jack, who never pause to spill their seed. They see no need. And when visible day is done, all start to run. Stand up to it. They stand up to you. Hey, you never know. I came upon a birch tree once, a softly swaying silver dunce in whose black branches mist had spread and gazed and left it there for dead. I saw no need to explain myself as others have concerning pelf. This ditty bland seduces me. Enough, I'll leave it by the tree, the idling birch. I saw no need to go to church, yet wearily I there did lurch from time to time, and in the end I felt its body like a friend Soon I forgot my mission's itch, and at the same time ceased to bitch. Ineffable beauty, where are you? I said, I'm coming for you. And even if we don't match up, eventually we'll catch up, one to the other, comparing notes, or jotting down our favorite quotes. All passions spent, the evening dew comes transitorily into view. Tomorrow it will evaporate, and morning tigers seal its fate. So when it comes to choosing sides, you be the one who's using guides. I to my nest refreshed will turn and leave these cherries in the urn. My philosophy of life. (laughs) 
Just when I thought there wasn't room enough for another thought in my head, I had this great idea. Call it a philosophy of life, if you will. Briefly, it involved living the way philosophers live, according to a set of principles. Okay, but which ones? That was the hardest part, I admit, but I had a kind of dark foreknowledge of what it would be like. Everything, from eating watermelon or going to the bathroom, or just standing on a subway platform lost in thought for a few minutes or worrying about rainforests would be affected, or more precisely, inflected by my new attitude. I wouldn't be preachy or worry about children and old people except in the general way prescribed by our clockwork universe. Instead, I'd sort of let things be what they are while injecting them with a serum of the new moral climate I thought I'd stumbled into as a stranger accidentally presses against a panel and a bookcase slides back somewhere down, I'm sorry, and a bookcase slides back, revealing a winding staircase with a greenish light somewhere down below. And he automatically steps inside, and the bookcase slides shut, as is customary on such occasions. <laughs> At once, a fragrance overwhelms him. Not saffron, not lavender, but something in between. He thinks of cushions, like the one his uncle's Boston Bull Terrier used to lie on, watching him quizzically, pointed ear tips folded over. And then the great rush is on. Not a single idea emerges from it. It's enough to disgust you with thought. But then you remember something William James wrote in some book of his you never read. It was, <laughs> it was fine. It had the fineness, the powder of life dusted over it by chance, of course, yet still looking for evidence of fingerprints. Someone had handled it even before he formulated it, so the thought was his, his alone. It's fine in summer to visit the seashore. There are lots of little trips to be made. A grove of fledgling aspens welcomes the traveler. Nearby are the public toilets where weary pilgrims have carved their names and addresses, and perhaps messages as well, messages to the world, as they sat and thought about what they'd do after using the toilet and washing their hands at the sink prior to stepping out into the open again. Had they been coaxed in by principles? And were their words philosophy of however crude a sort? I confess I can move no farther along this train of thought. Something's blocking it, as so often happens. Something I'm not big enough to see over. Or maybe I'm frankly scared. What was the matter with how I acted before? But maybe I can come up with a compromise. I'll let things be what they are, sort of. In the autumn, I'll put up jellies and preserves against the winter cold and futility, and that will be a human thing and intelligent as well. I won't be embarrassed by my friend's dumb remarks, or even my own, though admittedly that's the hardest part, as when you are in a crowded theater and something you say riles the spectator in front of you who doesn't even like the idea of two people near him talking together. Well, he's got to be flushed out, so the hunters can take a crack at him. This thing, <laughs> this thing works both ways, you know. You can't always be worrying about others and keeping track of yourself at the same time. <laughs> it would be abusive and about as much fun as attending the wedding of two people you don't know. <laughs> Still, there's a lot of fun to be had in the gaps between ideas. That's what they're made for. Now, I want you to go out there and enjoy yourself and yes, enjoy your philosophy of life, too. They don't come along every day. Look out, there's a big one. <laughs> this one is called Angels You Angels, you know who you are. Come back when you've aged a little, when the outdoors is an attractive curiosity no longer. Don't get me wrong, I like your waving turquoise mittens extantly. 
I must polish my speech, having spent a life watching old Steffi Duna movies and being warned about the consequences. It seems I should pass. There's only one essay question, and it can be about anything you like. Yet I hesitate like a spermatozoid that's lost its way and doesn't dare ask directions. <laughs> They'd club it if it did. <laughs> Once you're en route, it doesn't matter if you know besides anyway. Conversely, the winter circuit closes down until sometime in spring, but more likely forever. Signs of rot and corruption are everywhere and are even copied by the fashion conscious. I must sugar my hair and my factotum. You said there was one more in your party. No one is in a hurry. Suddenly the day is crocus sweet. In old Oklahoma, a tad triste, I too found it, along with other November matters that need not concern us here. But what's wrong with here? Suffice it to say, Baroque street gangs were breaking up thanks to the same principles that oversaw their gestation. A meaningless scuffle or shuffle ensued. One wondered which stamps were licked what tea poured from on high as a negative celebration of all that is lost to us now and all that is to come. Mysterious hybrids, most likely. Veined purple pods growing out of control to no one's detriment. I insist on that. And then it rained fat rabbits. I should have listened to my dog. In all, another pleasant institution, like so many pavilions that asterisk that harbor rim, in all my life, it was my 20th birthday. She came over. The night is all stuttering orange flares and fig-colored queries in the margin. It starts like this. It's breathless and out of hope. A quartet for someone semantics will never graze, nor the idling, puny zephyrs, the last saviors one thinks of looking to. Old Mother Hubbard knew nothing of pain that flows as fondly as conversation among acquaintances and as discreetly. Do husbands matter? <laughs> Let's get this going again. It might work to ask pardon. These days I am much on the cliffs. I like cliffs. They lead to a nice breeze. Forests of fire hatch the soup stone factory. When they get infected, they tend to gyrate, sometimes a lot. Trees come to stand in for the scenery that's missing. Well, and what might that be? Well, trees, of course. The occasional shrub. The wind jammers jammed again. Solemn, small porticos stone steps leading down into the ground, potatoes, and you don't even know them. Did it seem perfect then? The town side, sea of troubles, value, money. Dr. Driscoll will be here soon with his decoder. Meanwhile, everybody just stands still. If y'all don't move, it will summon the laser legs. In a matter of hours, we can be on the high seas where marriages are consummated and Amazon drummers croon and we encounter the order of the day. At last, we can split hairs. I needn't remind you how much of the mirror ball is in this, nor how such states are very much the exception to the general rule of not interfering. Even then, the interpersonal has been around, hedges its bets, as though this were a matter of some gravity, though no one can stake it out, or even know very well what it happens to be. This much I could hesitantly aver and turn into a saga that melts next day like an iceberg towed into tropical waters. That's an unusual boat, wearied seeming, caught in the cleft of a dream. Or is it something you just wear like diaries on special occasions while welcomes are wearing out and tall men have come to eat mattress insides this time? Oh, the woman lay in the longboat. 
Sometimes it comes from even farther back. Now I'll read some from this, uh, just a few. Well, just a couple. <laughs> this book. This one is called Title Search and is made up just of titles. Uh, some of them real and some of them made up. Some are titles of uh, Strauss waltzes and Spanish zarzuelas. Um, and I think I, the idea came to me at the Metropolitan Museum several years ago when the, there was a show of picture frames and without pictures in them. <laughs> and it seemed like a great idea. <clears throat> Title search, Voices of Spring, Vienna Bonbons, Morning Papers, Visiting Firemen, Morning Polka, Symphonie en Ut Dies Majeur, Fog-Soaked Extremities, Agrippa, Agrippine, Nelly and All, The Day the Coast Came to Our House, Hocus Focus, Unnatural Dreams, the Book of Five Dollar Poems, Oaks and Craters, Robert, A Rhapsody, Cecilia Valdez, The Jewish Child, Mandarin Sorcerers, The Reader's Digest Book of Posh Assignations, <laughs> The Penguin Book of Thwarted Lovers, The American Screwball Comedy, Scenes of Clerical Life, In Incan Overtures, the House on 42nd Street, The Man in Between, The Man on the Box, The Motor Car, Rue des Acacia, Elm Street and After, The Little Red Church, The Hotel District, I'll Eat a Mexican, The, the Heritage of Froth, The Trojan Comedy, Water to the Fountain, Memoirs of a Hermit Crab, The Ostrich Succession, Exit pursued by a turkey. In the pound, the artist's life. On the beautiful blue Danube, less is roar. The bicyclist, the father. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll read just two more. This one is called The Mandrill on the Turnpike. It's an art knowing who to put with what, and then while expectations drool, make off with a lodestar wrapped in a calico handkerchief in your back pocket. All right, who's got it? Don't look at me. I'm waiting for my date. She's already 15 minutes late. Listen, wise guy. But the next instant, traffic drowns us like a field of hay. Now it's no longer so important about getting home, finishing the job. See, the lodestar had a kind of impact for you, but only if you knew about it. Otherwise, not to worry, the clock strikes 10, the evening's off and running. Then while everything and body are getting sorted out, the well, you know what I call a subjunctive creeps back in, sits up, begs for a vision or a cookie. Meanwhile, where's the bird? probably laying eggs or performing some other natural function. Why, am I my brother's keeper, my brother the spy? You and Mrs. Molesworth know more than you're letting on. I came here from Clapham, searching for a whitewashed cottage in which things were dear to me many a summer. We had our first innocent conversation here, Jack. Just don't lie to me. I hate it when people lie to me. They can do anything else to me, really. Well, anything within reason, of course. Why it was let for a song, and that seasons ago. <clears throat> a 
about to move. And the belly buttons all danced around, and the ironing board ambled back to the starting gate and meaningless violence flew helplessly overhead, which was too much for the stare. Better to get in bed, they cry, since Zeus the evil one has fixed his beady eye on us and will never come to help us. But out of that a red song grew in waves overwhelming field and orchard. Do not go back, it said, for if there is one less of you at the time of counting, it will go bad with you. And even so, many hairy bodies got up and left. Now, if there was one thing that could save the situation, it was the cow on its little swatch of land. I give my milk so that others will not dry up, it said, and gladly offer my services to the force of peace and niceness. But what really does grow under that tree? By now, it had all become a question of saving face. Many at the party thought so, that these were just in different conditions that had existed before in the past from time to time. So nobody got to find out about the king of hearts, said the woman glancing off her shovel. The snow continued to descend in rows, this rubble that is like life infested with death. Only do not go there, the time should not be any more. I have read many prophetic books, and I can tell you now to listen and endure. And first the goat arose and circled halfway around the ilex tree, and after that, several gazed from their windows to observe the chaos harvesting itself, laying itself in neat rows before the circled wagons. And it was then that many left the painted cities, saying, we can remember these colors, it is enough. And we can go back tragically, but what would be the point? And the laconic ones disappeared first, and the others backtracked, and soon all was well enough. <laughs>